Uh, hi, folks. Well, this uh, this episode here is about uh, P mode, program mode, on uh, top dial on your camera. Okay, today we'll be covering what's called uh, P mode, program mode, and um, frankly, <laughs> I, I think I think my brain sort of shut this thing out. Never the thing uh, with the modern camera. Uh, they got one P position. And, um, basically, uh, with your thumb dial, uh, you, you, depending on if you go one way or the other, it'll, it'll choose one or the other as a priority, the aperture or the speed, and then, you know, adjust the rest so that this, uh, exposure triangle remains uh, more or less constant, and uh, as my partner says, uh, some people call it pro mode, and some people call it pussy mode, and um, personally, I call it pain in the ass mode, and uh, that's about as far as I can see on the on the on the program mode and um, you won't catch me putting it on P um, unless someday I bother to uh, study uh, that for a camera I particularly like and say Whoa, I see this P mode can really help me, you know, and then I'll try it if I'm not dead first, you know, and um, because I'm getting to the point where I'm closer to the end than I was to the beginning uh, when I first got that little brownie camera I was talking to you about. So, um, P mode is, uh, just not my thing, and I would prefer Robert cover the important parts about it if he likes it. The main purpose of uh, P mode would be to give you a little bit more control than uh, full auto mode, which we talked about in the beginning. Uh, th this will this will give you more control. Yeah, it'll, it'll give you more control and uh, P mode will do everything it can regardless of what lens you buy. Some of this stuff may seem redundant because other programs or modes um, do some of the same stuff, but you know, that's, that's the way the cameras are set up. They have, uh, a lot of these programs overlap each other. And, um, but the, the P mode basically, um, has, is, uh, is a very wide, uh, has, has a wider capability than, uh, other limited programs, if you like, since you can adjust both the aperture and the speed. On on certain cameras, you have uh, a back dial for for one for for the speed, and the front dial for the aperture. On my D50, you have only one dial. So you have to press another alternate button. Uh, the, the, the back dial will adjust the, the speed, uh, the shutter speed. And um, 
when you press the aperture button and move the dial, then it'll it'll move the the aperture from uh, large large to small, or vice versa. Uh, it's easier to understand the advantages of having both aperture and uh, shutter sh shutter speed uh, control if, if you already know what this is about, as we covered in previous examples in other programs and modes. In this mode, in this mode, you have to decide uh, if you're going to tell the camera to pop the flash up or not. Uh, it all depends uh, what you want. So, so that that'll be up to you to decide. Click here to get all our videos about exposure. Back back in the in the late film days when cameras were starting to get uh, sophisticated and they put in uh, electronics in there too in the film, we had um, we had several P program modes. And uh, basically, they were like P1, P2, or whatever they call them. And uh, the one would be, uh, you know, programmed to uh, govern uh, aperture uh, first and then speed. And... Uh, as a secondary uh, feature, and then P2 would be the other way around. We would govern speed and, uh, and aperture as an afterthought or something. And um, 